A long time ago when I was in high school, my dad actually found me my first job working at a retirement home in the kitchen. And those days I felt like I had won the lottery because it was a really good paying job at $8.25 an hour. And I was happy and then I realized, oh, it's with old people and I hadn't had much exposure. So I was a little scared, but I'd like to say that from that time, from, from working with um, seniors in, in that capacity, it really helped to foster my passion for working with seniors. And so um, when, I was, when I had completed high school, I knew that I wanted to be a nurse. My name is Jennifer Oteng and I am a geriatric outreach nurse. Initially I thought I would be in pediatrics, but I slowly began sort of missing that relationship that I would form with um, the older adult population and I said, you know what, I feel like this could be a good thing and I feel that, you know, not a lot of people actually own geriatrics and I think I'm going to be the first one and that's okay. Because there was a little bit of embarrassment at first, because people would say, oh, what area of nursing are you going into? You know, ER, labor and delivery, cardiology, and I'd say uh, geriatrics, and they're like, well, what, you know, why are you wasting your skills? And so it took me sort of a long time to own it, and I'm truly passionate about it, and I love it, and, and this is what I want to do, and that's why I'm in this area. I'm providing education that is needed and oftentimes the individual or the patient and their family, they're so grateful to even just be able to hear this and I'm giving it in a way that makes sense to them and I'm sort of helping them to um, go along that journey that is oftentimes scary, frustrating and unpredictable and I think they are really appreciative to have somebody that is sort of in the field to let them know that this is common, this is what we're going to expect, it's okay, why don't we try A, B, or C? And so that is really rewarding to me. And oftentimes it's, it's challenging, it's uncomfortable for family members to talk about it because they look at it as you're giving up hope. Whereas I've done this for over 13 years and I've recognized how chaotic it can be when you don't talk about it. Um, so I've made it part of my work to really try, try to uh, discuss this sort of along the journey and not just wait for the end and talk about a person's values and beliefs and how they picture end of life, what do they want, what don't they want before we even get there. The other thing that I would like for healthcare professionals to recognize is that with the black population, there is a lot of emphasis on, you know, your faith in general. And this is unfortunately sometimes brushed off by healthcare professionals. And it's sort of the reason why people are hesitant from only trying medications. It's because at the end of the day, many people believe in a higher power. And we believe that, you know, there's nothing that God can't do. And so when you encounter the healthcare system and you have this big powerful doctor that has given you a diagnosis, and you're saying, you know what, I wanna hold off on the medications because I'm going back to my church, we're gonna pray on it. It's important to recognize that this is important to them. It is important to help them feel seen and to really just acknowledge their thought process, their faith, and actually look to nurture it as one of their strengths and look at how you can incorporate that in their plan of care to respect it. So it's just recognizing, um, you know, dementia is not only treated with medications, but it's also communities, a person's faith, um, just their overall mentality. I mean, I think it's important for me to be a part of this because I am one, Number one, I'm, I'm from the black community. I'm of African descent. So I, this is a personal cause for me because it, 
it's going to impact the future of people that I know, my parents, my family members, and one day, probably myself. So it's important for me to make sure that, you know, we have people that have expertise, knowledge, and uh, passion for this area of care so that they can build it to the way that it needs to be. We're not where we need to be, but I'm hopeful.